Evening, everybody. I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter. Um, I just cut out my pattern. It's 65.75. A tunic right here. I'm going to be doing B. I'm doing an extra or a small. That's like a 10-12. So I'm hoping it uh, fit right. Um, we need one and five eighths yard of a quarter inch wide cording and one and a half yards of three quarter to one inch wide flexible trim. That's optional. Um, I don't have the cording, so I'm probably just going to make a drawstring. Um, I'm using 100% cotton. And I promise no darts tonight. <laughs> okay. So... I want to thank all the new subscribers to the channel. Channel's really growing, and I'm really excited about that. So, I want to show you the material I'll be using tonight. So, this is the material. It's kind of late that I'm starting, so I'll probably just pick this up in, in the morning. But I figured I could get some of it um, started tonight. So let me get everything, my thread and all that ready, and I'll be right back. The first thing we need to do is stay stitch the neck edge of the bodice front front and the sleeve and the back so okay and this is my front. I'm going to put my safety pin on my front pieces so I know it's the front. This just helps me keep track of the front pieces. So it's going to be piece nine and ten. So, for view B, on piece nine, we're stay stitching down this way. And stay stitch is like a half inch from your cut edge and just sew down. Now get your number 10 and you're gonna stay stitch down the neck. And 
and keep your pattern pieces out because we're going to have to mark some spots. So then on your number 10, do your neck. Get your back pieces. And we're going to sew the center seam. and match your notches. And this would be a 5 8 seam allowance. Get it even. So get this done. And then we're gonna stitch the front to the shoulder. Let's get this done. Five eighths. Okay, so once you have your back done, you're going to sew up your shoulder and arm seam on the top. It's going to come down looking like this. Okay, now we need to get number three and four. And I have to cut some interfacing for number three and number four. So let me get that done. So you're going to have two pieces of number four. One piece of it is going to have interfacing on it. Number three you have four pieces of fabric and you're going to need two pieces of interfacing. So let me get my interfacing cut. On one of your number fours, iron on your interfacing. And then I just put it back with the paper so I know it's number four. Okay, now I have to cut out my interfacing for three. Okay, everybody, um, I got to get my bird to bed. Um, I'll just keep the video going so it'll be a um, continuation. There won't be a part two or anything. So you all have a good night, and I will see you in the morning. All right, good morning, everybody. I'm back. Um, last night, we ended up just putting the interfacing on the neckline or neckband. Um, so we'll get to that. Um, a subscriber would really like me to do a couple patterns, and I do have them written down. And when I run uptown, I'll pick them up and we'll start doing those for them. Um, also, one subscriber asked why I don't do an intro. And um, I just 
I just don't want to do one. Um, some videos, you know, that I watch, you watch the intro numerous times and I'm trying to skip over it because I've already seen, I don't, I just don't want to see it. So that's why I kind of just jump right in to, um, you know, my sewing. Um, so you don't have to go through pictures and music and all that, you know, I mean, you're here to learn how to make the shirt or pants or whatever. So you want to see it, see it being made, get your instructions and then, you know, get off. So I understand that. And, um, so that's why I don't do an intro. So, um, there's my, there's my answer. <laughs> so, all right, let me get uh, my pieces for the neck band and I'll be right back. So we need two of the number four. And those are the ones that have the interfacing on them. Pin this back on. And then we need one of the number three, one with the interfacing on it. Let me get this pin back so they don't get mixed up. So what we're going to do is take our number four right here and two number threes and we're going to sew them at the shoulder seam so it'd be like this you know right sides together okay so let me get that done and we will be sewing them five eighths be sure your notches are on the outside so you have all your notches on the outside. So this is what it'll look like. And then just sew your seams up. Okay, now we're gonna open up our seams, press them. Iron went off. And then we're going to pin this to our top piece. Okay, so come back over here. Okay, get your top piece. And with right sides together, we're going to pin this. So get your notches first. And because we're doing kind of a rounded neckline, right here, you're going to have to work it, okay, you're going to have to work this around when you start sewing it and pinning it, so just kind of pull it up, get your seams opened. Pull this up and make that shape. So you'll have something like this. So just work it around. Get to your shoulder seams and pin them. And you're going to have to do the same thing is making that round edge. So you just have to keep pulling up the material 
in making it work. I'm sure that seam is opened so you don't get a little bubble in the back. So you just have to keep do doing that. You might have to stretch the material just a little, but just keep pinning around. And then we're gonna sew this, must be five eighths. Once you're pinned, sew five eighths. And it'd be a good idea when you're sewing this to have your hand underneath so you know that there's no bumps. All right, once you have this done, you're gonna press this and you wanna press your seam towards the band and you want the band pressed outwards. And we're gonna clip our neck right in here. Um, you can either do, you know, just a couple little things to help it. I'm just going to take my pinking shears and I'm going to go around my neck line so I know it's going to curve good. I'm not going to take a lot off, but just enough. So, let me see, is this my shoulder? Yeah. Okay, shoulder seam. <clears throat> That's where I'm going to start. And like I said, I'm not taking off a lot. I'm just going to cut away to my next shoulder seam. <clears throat> and then I kind of just go off of it like that. Uh, I think my puppy needs to go out. Okay, so just Press this towards your band, and you want your band outwards. And I'll be right back. Let me go check on my puppy. And open up your seam, seams. Okay, get your other three and four pieces and you're gonna sew them just like you did the first time and you'll and at the shoulder then come back and there is a dot so what you're gonna do is lay this down and mark your dot on both sides. Okay, from your big dot to the end right here, just this little piece, you're going to sew. And this is what you'll have. Now go and press down about a quarter inch all along 
this whole edge, everything. So just press this down. Iron keeps going off. So once we sew this around and we turn this, this will be sewn on the other end. So that be, we'll be sewing this onto that and then this end will come to where this seam is and we'll have a nice finished edge. Okay, so do that, just press it for right now. And then we're gonna sew it. And I'll be right back. Okay, then sew this pressed edge up. And I'll be right back. Okay, I missed the part. You have this facing sewn from the big dot down to the edge. And you wanna do the same thing on the other piece of facing. So just put your pattern down and mark those and sew and reinforce. And then pin it all around and you're going to put a pin right where that dot is. Matching your other dot. That should be right there. And then what you're going to do is sew from the big dots all the way around. And when you get done, we're going to fold this over. And we'll sew our folded edge over here down. And then we need to top stitch all along here once we get this on. This pattern has you jumping all over the place for different sleeves. And so I just missed that little part. but we caught it in time. Okay, so sew that up and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're gonna have to layer stitch. <clears throat> so you're gonna layer stitch. I just pinned this just to get it out of my way, just so I can, but I'll take it out. So this is what you'll have. This is what it'll look like. And then we're gonna press all this in. We have to take our pinking shears and go around, but then turn this to the inside. And then you're gonna pin this. And then we're gonna sew along here. Just get your pinking shears or just your regular scissors. And then trim your neckline up. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, now come to your ironing board. And we're going to kind of do that roll. 
and we want to get this flat and we'll press it to here. And then pin it on the outside and we're going to sew in the ditch right here. Be sure you get your seam lined up. And sometimes I take my turning tool because it has a like a round and I can go in there and push my seam out. And then I press. And it gets it pretty good. Okay. okay, once you have it pinned up, this is what it should look like. Okay, now you're going to go to the sewing machine. And you're going to stitch in the ditch, which means right on the seam line, you're going to stitch. And it's going to catch this piece on the back you're facing. So just stitch in the ditch. And just get your hand under there when you're sewing. To be sure, especially when you get around your corners, that you're not going to get any bulkiness. So let me get this done. And I just pinned my little top right here just to get it out of my way. I really should put a pin right there. We're stitching in the ditch there. Okay, so we're going to go all around, go slow, so you don't get any bulkiness. And either get your hand under there, or just feel it with your left hand. And just be sure that it's all nice and straight. Okay, go slow. Alrighty, once you get done with that, just press it. And then we're going to sew up our sleeves in our side. <clears throat> Just kind of go around and press it. Be sure it caught everything. Now with right sides together, you're gonna sew up your sides and the armhole. And then we're gonna hem the sleeve after. Five eighths around and then come back right under the arm hip and just do like three eighths just for about four inches. Get these all even. And do both sides 
and I'll be right back. Open up your seams on your side in your armhole. And then I'm just going to trim off a little near where I did the three eighths. I'm just going to open up my seams here just a little. Now we're going to hem the sleeves. Okay, so I'm just going to just take a little off right in here. Just around the armhole. Okay, let me see if there's any, um, okay, it's a narrow hem. I don't know if my arm, I might have to do it this way. Okay, so just press over like a quarter inch and press all the way around and then you're going to come back and turn this press it and clip it and do that with both sleeves and I'll be right back once you have them clipped just check and be sure that your sleeves are even Mine are, I just did from the shoulder to here. And sew these up. Alrighty, and just press your hems down. So this is what we should have so far. Remember, I just have a pin down here holding this. But this is what we should have so far. Now we have to make a couple buttonholes on our front piece. Which is number five. And you'll see right here for buttonholes. So 
just to mark them. on both sides. Go make your buttonholes. They don't need to be too big. Even though I'm going to have the buttonhole and I know this is the front, I'm still going to put my safety pin in. So I know this is the front. All right, so let's go make our buttonholes. And I'll be right back. Okay, and I always make one on scrap just to be sure that it's the right size and that it looks right. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so then I'm going to start making mine. You want to um, put down some interfacing, which I forgot to do. Thank God I didn't go too far. Just a couple stitches. So just get a couple pieces of interfacing. And put that down. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. I just put a strip down and then I'll just go mark mine again. Okay. Okay, and then carefully open these with your seam ripper. And I always, I don't always go down to the end of it. I kind of leave a little material where my corner is. Okay. So there they are. This off, put that the straight stitch, put that up. Oh, my hands won't work tonight. Come on, baby. There. My piece. Okay. Okay, with the right sides together, pin front and back to lower edge of bodice, matching center seam, side seams, and large dots. Stitch in three quarter inch seam. Okay. Okay, with right sides together, we're going to sew our side seam. And that's five eighths. Get that all matched up. There's a notch there. So 
So get everything sewn up. Okay, open up your seams. And then we're going to sew this to the top. This pattern is very easy to get turned around um, the pieces. So just take your time. Especially on the top, you can get turned around. Okay. Okay, on the front, there is a dot right near the buttonhole. So mark that. like right in the middle of your buttonhole. Okay, and where that dot is, that's where your seam line, where I had mine pinned, that's where it's gonna match. And then see, I have notches here. And then just match your other seams, your back seam, and keep going around. And then we sew this in three quarter inch seam allowance because this is gonna be turned down to make our casing. Okay, once you have this pinned up, we're going to stitch three quarter inch seam all the way around. So let me get that done. Okay, once you have it sewn up, you're on the body part of this, you're going to trim this seam. Let me get it down a little. Okay, you're going to trim this about a quarter inch. You want this to be about a quarter inch wide all the way down. Then you're going to press the upper seam down so to be downwards. And then you're going to turn over a quarter of an inch and then you're going to sew it. And this will be the casing for our elastic. Now you might have to come in here where the V part is because it's pretty thick. So I would suggest kind of trimming that down along with this piece. So once you have that, it's going to be, you know, a lot thinner to get all that in there. Okay, so let me trim this. Remember, it's the body part that we're trimming. Yeah, and then that'll go upwards. Okay. 
Okay, it says press the seam downwards. And then you're gonna turn under a quarter. I'm not gonna turn it right here because this is where my buttons are. I might try it, but it's it's pretty thick. Just don't know if I, I might do layer stitching in here a little to try to, but it's just so thick. All right, so I'll hit that when I get there. I'm gonna start over here. So just where you're, just turn this. and then press it. And then pin it. And go all around. do here because that's pretty bulky. Um, I might take some of this off. Okay, keep going around. Okay, be sure you're kind of pulling the um, bottom part down so when you fold your seam, you're not going to get a buckle. So just kind of pull. Let's see. So I'm just kind of pulling right here and then turning over. <clears throat> And that way I know it's flat on the other side and then pin. Okay, and when you get to this thick part, you're gonna have to really steam it to make it turn down good. it good. Put some pins in there to keep that down. And when you sew, sew slow over this because it's quite a bit of thickness. Just gonna pack it with pins so I know it's okay. A couple more now. You're gonna go to the sewing machine and you're gonna sew right on this edge. I'm gonna check my front though and be sure everything is good, that there's no buckles. Okay, and there's my buttonholes. Okay, that looks good, that looks good. Okay, 
So just remember when you go over this thick part, go slow. Um, it's a lot to go through your sewing machine. <clears throat> Okay, let's sew this up. And then we have the drawstring to do. Then it says to let it hang overnight. Um, I don't know if I really need to because this is cotton. And I'm just going to steam it real good and hem it up. Now, if you're using another type of material you might have to um because once we get the drawstring through it says allow the garment to hang overnight and mark length but um I don't know if I'm going to do that. Like I said, I'm just going to steam it really good. Um, that whole bottom section of the shirt, I'm going to steam it. And yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, let me get this done. And then we'll make our drawstring. Um, oh, right here. Let's see. B. Okay, so you're going to use, um, fourth inch of wide cording and three-eighths wide elastic. I don't have that, so I'm going to be just using quarter inch um, elastic also and, you know, make my cord or my drawstring. So, when you don't have it, you just have to improvise on it. So, let me get that sewn up, and then I'll be right back. Get as close as you can to this edge. Okay? Okay, on some feet, they have this little black button right there so once you start sewing and it starts to get thick press that button and it will keep your foot at that height so you can just keep sewing okay once you get done with that part so you'll see the the back and the front I'm going to just press mine before I put in or, you know, make my drawstring. So I'm just going to press. So I'll get it all pressed up and then We'll make our drawstring. Okay, get your number eight. And you're going to make one of these, but you're going to cut it in half. So you'll have two pieces. So let me get that done. Okay, get your piece. And cut this in half. I can't find my little turner um, 
So like if you would sew it and then, you know, you pull your end out and so you would only have like the one seam. I'm going to do this like bias tape. But just be sure you fold over just a little on one end. And then fold in half. even <clears throat> and then come back and fold this right to that crease or right before it and then you're gonna stitch it up I don't care if there's a stitch on my drawstring sometimes it's easier to do it this way than fighting trying to get these turned over to the right side. You can fight with it for quite some time. So, okay, then turn this over again and then sew it. So do your next one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew the elastic to this end, the raw end. So. You don't have to worry about that end. So just remember, just turn a little over on this end and continue doing what I did. Now get your number seven and then get your elastic. And you're going to cut a piece this long. Now on this raw edge, be sure you got your raw edge, not your, you're going to sew this on. About five eighths of it on. So you're going to sew that on and then come back and do it on this end. And then we're going to take a safety pin and go through our shirt. I'm just gonna sew mine a couple times. I just want it to be strong. Okay, get your other piece and do the exact same thing. Start at your buttonhole and get that in. And then just keep moving till you get all the way around. Okay, so this is what you should have. Like I said before, I'm gonna steam mine and then I'm gonna let it hang for maybe a half hour and then I'll hem it. It's a five eighths hem. You're gonna turn over like a quarter and then come back up five eighths. Um, so I'm gonna grab myself a cup of coffee and I'll steam this and then we'll hem it when I get back. Okay, everybody, here it is. So, um, I'm going to have to, I pinned it right here. Um, it's just a little bit too low for me um, to be comfortable. So, I'm just going to hand stitch, you know, like an inch and a half up. But, that's that one. Okay, and this was sixty-five seventy-five. Okay, so it was that one, and it is quite low, and I'm just not comfortable having it that low. <laughs> so, 
especially at my age. Okay, tomorrow, um, I had bought some more gauze because I love the gauze shirts. They're just, oh my God, I just love them. So, I've already done these patterns, but like I think I did long sleeve and a short sleeve on these two. Um, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do um, with this. I might do like B in this one with this or D in this one. I'm just not quite sure yet which one I want to do. I'll sleep on it and see what I want. Um, I also have this material in this one. So I got to figure out what to do with that. Um, so off camera, I'm going to be working on this. Um, back in my day, we used to wear gunny sacks. And I found a pattern on Etsy for my niece. Um, so I'm thinking of making her just the skirt part. And then I found... I got so many patterns here. And then I found this one for like a summer or spring dress. So I might start that. Um, I know you can find them on Etsy. <clears throat> um, so I'm thinking, I have a couple of them. So I'm thinking of doing one of them I think that was, yeah, those were the two. Oh, and I had this one. So, I might off-camera do that. Um, I know the patterns were, um, they were quite expensive for these old gunny sack patterns. Um... I don't know. We'll see. I don't have a spring dress. I don't wear dresses that much, but um, I'll see what I can figure out. Now I've already now I've already made this skirt, and that came out really pretty. And that is also a gummy sack. So I'll just kind of figure out um, what to do. Um, <laughs> I do have the subscriber wanted me to um, do a couple tutorials on a couple patterns. So I'm going to run to the store tomorrow and see if I can find these. And then, um, I guess we can start these for her. So, I guess that's it for tonight. Um, I want to thank all the new subscribers. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. The channel's growing. Um, this is a very beginner-friendly type sewing. I go through every single step. And um, I think that's helping a lot of people. I know when I first started sewing, I would get so discouraged because I couldn't figure out something or I couldn't do it. And I just would, you know, throw the material aside and I, I was done. Um, luckily, I had an aunt that was a professional seamstress in North Carolina. And um, she worked in a factory. 
So she taught me everything I know. And um, some of it's an old fashioned type sewing and some of it's, you know, newer sewing. Um, but I hope this helps, you know, some of you all out. So you all have a good night. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share to other friends that might be interested in sewing. And, um, you know, maybe they'll pick it up and you guys can sew together. Uh, it's, it's a fun hobby to have. And my bird's going off. It's his bedtime. <laughs> But anyways, so please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. You all have a good night.